The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Here we are in the month of June, and we're going to take a look at these markets, uh, starting off with the German DAX. As you can see here, we're completing an ABCD pattern here. Those of you that like ABCD patterns might want to keep an eye on this one. And we're going to switch over now and take a look at the uh, FTSE. You'll notice that it's very, very close to doing the same thing, making an ABCD pattern. And then also I wanted to bring one to your attention here uh, that is very important because it's the Japanese market. It still could go a lot lower, but as you can see, it's been following these patterns really closely. You'll notice back on May 1st, it was making that uh, really nice butterfly pattern, Gartley pattern up at that 22,500 level. And now we're down to 20,034. But uh, this is going to be, this is the real key one, folks. This is the one that we've been talking about, that 2730 area uh, in the uh, in the E-mini S&P. And, of course, we hit 2731 uh, last night. Uh, we also made that number in the uh, NASDAQ, also came down uh, pretty much spot on uh, what, it, what it was supposed to do, whether it's going to continue or not. But this is going to be the really key one, because if we go below 2700, this is going to tell us that we're most probably getting ready for a, uh, you know, much, much bigger correction. That's the way I look at it. Now, over the weekend, I spent some time chatting with my friend uh, uh, Larry Williams. I met Larry back in uh, 1966 down in California. He was up in Carmel. And I was in Westlake Village, and I went up there. We got to be friends and have been friends for many, many years. But Larry did a um, program for stock charts this past week, and I wanted to share with you a couple of the charts that he talked about one of which is his cycle forecast that he does every year. Uh, this is for the Dow Jones. Uh, you'll notice that it uh, looks very similar, doesn't it, boys and girls? <laughs> he, he, uh, he uses a, a place called uh, Timing Solutions is who, where he gets his uh, ideas for his cycles. But this is uh, pretty close to what the Bradley model does. Yeah, hey, maybe they're all related. I don't know. All I know is that it's uh, pretty interesting. He's looking for a low around the 12th of this month. We're looking at sometime this week. We've got the new moon uh, today. That'd be enough to get it moving. And so we need to keep a very, very close eye on that. I have a great Larry Williams story to tell you folks. Back in 87, when I was finishing the book, Astro Cycles, A Trader's Viewpoint, I didn't know how to sell it or anything. And so I was living in Pismo Beach. I called Larry down in San Diego, told him I had an idea. And so I had the book all ready to go. It was not published. It was not published, of course, but it was in, it, it was read it. I mean, it was all done. All he had to do was print it. So I took it down to him and showed him it was 280 pages or something. And uh, he said, uh, why don't you take my car for a ride and I'll look at this in the next couple hours. We'll come back and we'll have lunch. Well, he had a, he had a brand new Rolls Royce and the keys were still in the car, believe it or not, right in the office there. And I told him, I said, why do you leave the keys in the car? He said, they don't steal cars for, you know, for resale. He said, they steal them for parts and nobody uses Rolls Royce's parts. So I drove, I didn't drive that car. I had no idea wanting to drive that. I came back and he said, uh, you know, Larry, he said, this is a really good idea you have here. He says, but I really don't want to do this. He says, I'd be really taking money from you. He said, this is a home run. He said, you can't miss. I said, Larry, I don't know what to do. And he reached around his uh, desk and he went into a file cabinet and he pulled out a list of 3,000 names. He said, these are people that have, you know, been checking with me off and on for years. He said, I think the list is pretty up to date, uh, but they've been interested in esoteric stuff like GAN and astrology. This is where you might want to start. So I took that list. And I uh, I uh, went to the uh, – uh, we're in San Luis Obispo. They have the handicap center there where they do uh, uh, menial work, you know, for for, uh, for the folks. And I didn't know anything about this. The university helped me get this set up. So I went over there, nice people, and they hand-addressed all 3,000 of the things and made 
mailed them out. Uh, my total cost on it was like $3,500. And what I did is had a one-page ad front and back uh, offering the book and that stuff. And so I sent the uh, I sent the things out on a Tuesday, and on Friday morning, I got my first call. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this to your attention is because one of our listeners uh, heard me speak about 15 years ago, and uh, he said uh, a lot more than that, Mr. Z. Uh, he said, uh, I would like to uh, – uh, uh, oh shucks! I've lost my 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 t t uh, train of contact. I'm trying to answer questions in the den at the same time. But anyway, uh, I had a uh, I sent these out with my phone number, address, and stuff. And at uh, five o'clock in the morning on Friday, I got my first call. The reason why I'm bringing this to your attention is one of the listeners, uh, ten fifteen years well, more than fifteen years ago, heard me speak in. Uh, New York, and I could never tell this story without crying because it was uh, it was so so emotional for me, and it's, 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 I don't cry anymore, but it's still emotional. But I get the call, 5:30 in the morning, uh, Irving Feldman, New York City, very first customer. He said, "I want to buy the book," and I said, "Okay, great." He said, uh, "How do I pay for it?" And I said, "Well, you have to send me a check." He said, "He, he said, kid." He said, nobody's going to send you a check. He said, you got to use credit cards. I didn't have credit cards. Uh, you know, I didn't do any of that. So I called Michael Weintraub. He and his father owned a couple of uh, uh, jewelry and fur places. And they said, yeah, you can use our cards. You know, you're not going to sell very many, but it's no problem. And so I had American Express, Visa, the whole bit. And he gave me his order. And he said, well, how much is the how much is the newsletter? And I said, oh, I don't have a newsletter. He said, you got to have a newsletter. He said, people want to do this. And, and so over the next 30, 40 minutes, uh, uh, Dr. Dr. Feldman uh, told me how to price it. It came out to uh, uh, 300 and what the heck was it? It was uh, 300. Oh, Larry, boy, I'm a senior. It was a Fibonacci number. I, I can't remember what it was. But for the newsletter, one year, and uh, the book and everything, it came out to, uh, what was it, 399? I'll have to add them up. What is, what is the number? What is 223? 144 377 it was 377 dollars so instead of selling one book for 95 dollars i was selling a book for this so he was my very first customer and i made 377 dollars that was at five o'clock in the morning friday by saturday at 10 o'clock i hadn't moved the place okay uh it was uh i'd sold twenty thousand dollars worth of stuff in three days and that was just the start of it and it became – the book was turned out to be pretty good. It won an award, and uh, Dr. Uh, or uh, Commander David Williams endorsed it. But uh, Irving passed away about a year later, and I wanted to re refund the prescription. And his, his daughter said the one thing that he said, he said, do not take any money from Larry. He said, uh, this is something that I've enjoyed doing. And uh, But that's what uh, – he was a really nice guy. But that took it off, and I, I did it for six years, and I just got at absolutely bored with it and then just you know continue to just do uh, the usual trading stuff but larry's a class act i have to say that uh, the work that he does is very very good he's a really nice guy and he ran for senate with, during the reagan thing he was the only Republican that didn't get elected on Reagan's coattails, but he jokes about it. But his son is into uh, a psychologist. He's a psychiatrist, and he's done some work on this stuff that I'm going to share you at the break about the two characteristics that really, really guys that are successful in this business uh, have. So I'll, I'll share that with you in a minute. So thanks for listening to this, and we'll be back in a few minutes. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. be our guest in 10 minutes but on friday folks we got a very special treat for you uh shane smullion wolf trader he's going to be on for the whole hour he's got some really great stuff and we need a whole hour with him he's always been uh, very entertaining got some great information so shane will be our guest uh, on friday i posted the chart here for the gold as you can see we finally had a big breakout gold is up 60 bucks from its bottom uh and the silver's up a little bit too. It's you know not but it's only up 35 cents, but uh, it's doing pretty good. Platinum, uh, no one's woken it up yet, but uh, it's trading around 803. It hasn't really done very much, so we'll have to uh, do one thing at a time. But uh, that's what it looks like anyway. The gold's had one heck of a run here, and it, you know this is just the beginning, folks. So what we need to do is to it's overbought of course today but we want to watch to see what the pullback will be if we get it today but we've been up uh, basically two harmonic numbers 60 34 times two so that should be the top up in this area here and uh, whether it'll back off much or not I don't know so but you know the good part of it boys and girls nobody else does either I wanted to mention to you the two things that uh, Jason uh, Williams Larry's uh, dr. Williams is uh, he's Larry's son and he's a psychiatrist, and he did a lot of work uh, when he was doing his undergraduate work and also his medical degree working with Larry. And he, the two things that they found that really successful traders had that uh, was important was, one, they kept a very low profile. And the second thing was they had a strong belief and control of their self esteem and I think that's very very important no egos folks uh, this is not an ego business it's about buying and selling and you can't get involved with it. and believe me I learned that the hard way folks back in the days when uh, I was a uh, Conti commodity back in the uh, late 60s early 70s you know I, I couldn't do anything wrong and I uh, I've always been very friendly, but I, I really was a little bit uh, headstrong. I thought I was much smarter than I was, which I wasn't. But the one thing that I did do during that time that always protected me is I really helped a lot of people. Guys would go debit balance at the Conti office, and I'd you know loan them the money or give them the money, you know only three four thousand dollars, sometimes a little bit more. But I always did that, and I was friendly to everybody, even though I was a little bit uh, cocky or headstrong. But boy, that ended in 1974. 
when the old uh, Grim Reaper with his old sickle showed me that you can't add to losing positions and you can't not use stops and you can't not use money management. And after that bad uh, debacle, I spent a year and a half learning and then I changed a little bit. Well, changed a whole lot. So anyway, let's move on to a couple other things. Uh, the dollar index has uh, run into a really st steep resistance up here that we mentioned uh, uh, late last week, and so far that is exactly what has happened. And thank you for posting those things, David. David White has just posted some really great stuff from Paul Tudor Jones. Those listening, I'm going to repeat these because uh, his Paul Tudor Jones's rules: lose your opinion, not your money. Don't ever average losers. That's the dumbest thing you can do. Never trade in situations where you don't have control. W.D. Gann says, when in doubt, stay out. If you have a position that is making you uncomfortable, the, the solution is very simple. Get out. And don't be concerned about where you got into a position. Be concerned about where you get out of your positions. And defense is the key to this, not offense. And that's very important. And resume every day that you presume every day that you're going to be wrong. And that's that's something I learned from from Mark Douglas. You know, just assume you're going to lose because then it takes the responsibility off. Hell, you move on to the next trade. You know, that's it. That's all you have to do. Uh, the people have these big egos. Those are the ones that get into lots of trouble. And boy, I've seen it over and over again. Some of them do, you know, really well. Well, I'm not going to say who these people are because you know who they are, but you need to know that. But you got to you got to plan your decisions, take the responsibility, and don't get too wrapped up in trades. You know, remember I was wrapped up in that gold trade, and I fought it for three or four months, and yet it finally started to work. The the psychological toll that it took out of me was a lot, and now I'm involved in another one. <laughs> But that's neither here nor there. But I, I, I shake it off because I really don't care. You know, if you lose one, you're just that much closer to the next one. When I worked at Drexel, they said that trading was a lot like cold calling for, you know, marketing and stuff. He said, you're only one full call away from the big one. And that's what you got to do. And you got to dial a lot of wrong numbers before you get someone that will answer. So that's the key you know, to doing some of these things that we're that we're looking at here. So let's sort of pay attention to that. It's going to be very, very interesting. I did get a, a really neat chart from one of our listeners uh, across the pond, in fact, far across the pond over in Australia. He's a Wyckoff aficionado, and I wanted to bring it to your attention this morning. This is the uh, – <laughs> let's uh, – how's our coffee doing, Ruby? I think we're uh, – we got another cup running today, don't we? Anyway, you'll notice here that if you look at the time period a year or so ago, we were making that three drive pattern up there, and it looks like what we're doing now in the the uh, these T notes are doing pretty much the same thing, uh, but it looks like that uh, we'll have to be uh, getting ready to ride in uh, one of Tom's uh, yachts uh, as the uh, Treasury bonds uh, as uh, uh, getting re ready to reach 177. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And maybe not in my lifetime. Anyway, let's move on to a couple of things. I wanted to talk a little bit about platinum here because it is acting so poorly. Uh, I don't know if it's related to cars or whatever it is. And, you know, the other thing that's interesting, folks, over the weekend there was a German election, and the Greens, which is equivalent to our AOCs over here, they won a big thing. And uh, that is really a, a, a really big thing there. So you want to watch that uh, very, very closely. Wyckoff was very, very good. Uh, David's posted about uh, Richard Wyckoff, and he, he did some great swing work. And uh, the patterns that he had in there are terrific. I recommend anybody that wants to study Wyckoff to do that. He was during the same era as Schaubacher. And who was the father-in-law of Edwards, of Edwards and McGee, and, uh, you know, H.M. Gartley, W.D. Gann, Ralph Elliott, you know, all those people, you know, all in that same era. So that's the, the key uh, to looking at uh, some of these things. But um, let's move on to uh, one other thing that I, we've talked about, that dollar index, the importance of it, uh, the fact that we're down near these ABC levels and all of the stock market indices were over the new moon. Uh, we got that Gartley, uh, excuse me, the Bradley model is saying that it could be, and this is just a, just a, you know, a, like everything else. Let's just get this up here and take a quick look at it. This is the Bradley model. Uh, you'll notice that it's uh, coming into this week, on June 6th. That's uh, that's the uh, that's the bottom line. We got the full moon here, or new moon, yes, new moon today. And I've got the full moon back on the uh, 
23rd, but uh, this is going to be an interesting week to sell. Now, whether that's going to be the exact bottom there or not, I don't know. But if we go below 2700 in the E-mini S&P, that's going to really knock the – the air out of some of the bullish uh, pundits out there, because if we close below there, that's going to be a very, very, uh, very, very negative sign. And if you, as you noticed with the DAX index, we've made an ABCD in that. Uh, we're very close to it in the Nikkei, and we're very close to it in the FTSE, and here we are in the United States. So a lot of things are coming together here, whether this means very much or not. This is the first ABCD correction since December 26 in stocks, folks. That's five months ago. That hasn't happened very often. So it's worth a look here. So and someone just asked me, am I long? No, but I'm not short anymore. I covered that last night. But uh, we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens with it. Anyway, we'll have Rich on here after the break to talk about these grains, folks. And big things happening in those uh, commodities over there that are growing. <laughs> and some of them haven't even planted yet. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back, and I believe we have Rich Anderson on the line. Rich, how are you doing? Good, Larry. How are you? Pretty good. Rich, tell the folks what's going on with the corn and the weather and everything. You hear so much about it from different people and on the Internet and in the news. What's your skinny on it, my friend? Well, the, the um, planning progress, the last time I was on, the market was down 3 to $0.04. Cents. I remember that. We were negative right macros. 
And I they said, buy corn because by the close, they'll be looking at planting progress. Well, planting progress has, you know, shock beyond all belief. The last, it, and it comes out after the close on Monday, so it'll come after, after the close today. The last three Mondays when it's come out, then, you know, on the Monday night opening for Tuesday, we've gapped up on corn. Now, we had less rain than expected over the weekend. The problem with the flying progress, by the way, is they're always delayed, you know, by several days. And so the, the traders are trying to figure out, you know, how many acres are not going to get planted. That's all whole key thing. Because unlike the weather market, the, the seed's in the ground and it's growing, but it's not growing well because it's too hot or doesn't have rain. And then things change, the rains or it gets cools off, and that's when you have that sharp break. Here it's a little different because if they don't put the seed in the ground, it isn't going to grow. And the way it works is you have crop insurance, which the farmers have to buy, and you can buy 70% or 75%. That's also revenue insurance. And you have dates that if it's planted beyond that date, there's a higher chance that you could have a crop failure. So, therefore, you know, each day that's after that date, there's a 1% decline in your crop insurance. Huh. Those dates are May wow. 25th to May 31st in a large part of the country, and of course we're past May 31st. And the, the the key decision for the farmer is if I don't have any fertilizer in the ground, and I might put 80 to 100 dollars an acre of fertilizer in the ground in in many years before I plant my corn, then it's easy to easier to make a decision to take the prevent plant, which will be take that 75 percent times your average production history times the, the price. And, you know, it, that's the decision that's being worked out right now. Wow. And in 1993, I think Cy and Mark, Mark wrote that article that I sent you last night, the International mm -hmm. Ag Group. Um, you know, they have the, the uh. real details. But in 93, it was like 2 million acres, and it could be 4 million acres this year or 5. And that would be a huge wow. deal, particularly in corn. So the main halfway back, it, it, well, let's say we have some wow. hot and dry weather, you know, as we did in 83, planted yeah. wet, and then you have hot and dry. Wow. I mean, it's going to be an interesting situation. You, that's why you trade oh. the technicals, look for, you know, your percent retracements. And, wow. you know, and then on top of that, we have all the economic uncertainty from policy uncertainty and tariffs and and it's making oh. for a very interesting summer, but I think there's going to be some uh, oh. enormous opportunities. That's uh -oh. why I told you about the, the corn options. Maybe one of the biggest trades of the year, because well, once you get about 445, yeah, you know, you pick the, the numbers. The main halfway is like 570 something, but that would well, come from other corn, kinds of weather. Yeah. Corn moved three dollars a bushel back at back when that happened in ninety three, ninety four. I, a, I know, that, I know. It's it's a big it's it's a big deal, and and, uh -huh. and not only is that a big deal, but then we have the hog reduction of the herd in in China, and 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 you know, and, and so pork's going to be a big deal. A two percent uh -huh. reduction in the world supply took hogs to what a buck thirty. I'm I'm not at my computers or anything. I'm doing this from memory. So uh -huh. that, that, there's another very interesting and exciting market. Um, not to mention the gold threat tested the trend line. And on top of that, we've got $11, million, $11 trillion of debt in the world is negative interest rates. I mean, it's hard yeah. to wrap your mind around that. Yeah. And, and then in this country, in 08, we had a $2 trillion problem. Now we have leveraged loans as our vulnerability, and that's an $8 trillion problem. Uh, Jeffrey Gunlack of Double Line Capital was talking about 45% of the triple Bs should be rated as junk right now. I mean, there's a lot of interesting things going on in the world. So there's going to be tons of opportunity. You just watch your technicals and uh, manage your risk. Well, wow, that's close enough. Rich, uh, what is your feeling on the, the move we've had here in gold? We've had several of our listeners uh, want to know your opinion on that. Because, you know, we have had little interest in platinum at all and then a little tiny bit in silver, but gold's acting relatively well. It, it's, gold is very impressive. Um, and I think, you know, we had a bubble a year ago where everybody was hot to trot for Bitcoin and they had to fear, 
you know, missing out. And then they mm-hmm. realize, well, it isn't all it's cracked up to be. And the real secure thing is gold. I think you're seeing the central banks buy it. You know, last 18 months we had had tremendous amounts of liquidation by Venezuela. That's gone. And the central banks are accumulating it because, you know, when, when you the, the, the key point, Larry, is $11 trillion of negative interest. Well, if you got negative interest, you might as well put your money in gold. Yeah. You, you know, the bear argument for gold is that you have yeah. to pay interest on it. Well, yeah. if I don't get I, interest on my so, money, I might as well put it in gold. You know, I noticed today uh, what they, they talked about in Venezuela, that it takes 75 million bolivars, the, the currency of uh, Venezuela, to buy one ounce of gold. It was 10,000 bolivars just about uh, two years ago. So that shows you what happens to inflation. But, man, that is really amazing. We got a question here about August cattle under a buck four. Do you see any value there at all, uh, Rich? Well, well the, 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 as I mentioned, the hogs, and in my calculation is that the world hog product population could be down 10%, and you saw what happened with the 2% reduction in 2014. And and cattle is a protein, and I think uh, there'll be opportunity. Uh, I'm I'm looking more towards uh, February of next year is kind of what I've got my eye on, um, uh, you know, but I haven't I, I haven't looked at the August cat, cattle, so I can't comment. But I'm I'm more I'm a buyer out in the February and in the June, and I'm a, a seller in the middle. I'm a seller in the October. Yeah. That's kind of been. Wow. They, they dropped eighteen cents a pound ever since they hit one twenty one. That's a heck of a drop in cattle, isn't it? That you're a cattle man. Don't that bother you a little bit, or do you hedge it all? Well, I trade the board. Then you don't have to worry about death loss. Yeah. Corn prices going to the moon. Um, okay. I think the thing that's been folk that's that's taken all, that this beyond meat thing really took the sales out of the out of the uh-huh. beef market, but it's it's okay. going to come back. Um, uh-huh. I'm not I'm not focused on the cat. I'll have to take a look. I'll I'll send you my comments after I've taken okay. a look. I'm I'm, I'm hey, in listen, the February I- cattle. That's where I'm at. I understand. I'm going to let you go because I know you're real busy this morning, and thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Keep sending the stuff to me, Rich. We really enjoy it. All righty. Take care. You bet. Rich Anderson, Anderson Capital Management, folks. Uh, Cattle down at 103. They used to be at 121 when we had that big butterfly pattern up there uh, at that level. Uh, That's a pretty wild move. But um, the key there, if you're looking at this cattle chart, you notice it had the big break and then the rally back right to the 78% level. Nice little Gartley pattern there. And then bada bing, bada boom, down she went. So we'll take a break here. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the gold report currently 
currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors distributor for side fund services llc the bull bear binary option hour next on tfnn all right folks we're back and we were just chatting with rich anderson about the state of the corn crop it's planted the trouble is it's not growing and the chance of corn being as high as an elephant's eye on the 4th of July, very, very slim this year. And if you remember the chart that I just posted there, long-term monthly chart on corn, you'll see back in 1993-94, uh, the market had that same type of problem. And corn went from 250 a bushel to almost $6 a bushel. That's a huge move. So we're watching that. We're really looking to see if we can get a little bit of a pullback here. Technically, we're sitting at a really important levels in Beans, wheat, and corn, they're all at 61% or 78.6% levels. I focused on those in the, uh, the Futures newsletter this week. And to take a look at that, you'll see that it's very important. Any move above this uh, 450 level in corn, uh, we could have another part of a running market. So pay attention to that. It's going to be very, very interesting. Crude oil has broken down. Uh, we were watching it very, very closely. We think we're getting close to a a longer term fib number down here, which is uh, right around $51 uh, and change. Uh, we got to 52 and change last night. But if we like, take a look at this, you'll be able to see here that uh, where we this is looks with these two wide ranging bars down the ones we had on Thursday and Friday. Uh, you know, it's going to be real interesting to see what's happening. Oh my goodness, what happened here? Wow, something happened to my computer. I just got a giant. Uh, warning sign on it. Uh, I guess the old uh, federales are listening to the program again. <laughs> joking, folks, joking. Anyway, uh, I did want to mention uh, one other thing. I, to be sure that you come on Friday if you get a chance because Shane Schmolian from the Wolf Trader will be on and it, it's going to be a really good show. So uh, I'll be taking one day off this week. It's time for the old medical checkup where they run all the tests on me and stuff. So got to keep doing that. Uh, to, oh, someone asked a question. How 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 is, is Larry Williams my age? No, he's four years younger than me. He's 74. Yeah, he's same age as Twentyman. Twentyman's birthday is uh, on the, uh, the 5th, the day before, before D-Day. Uh, okay, now... Uh, regarding the crude oil, uh, there's still a, we've had a pretty good rally. We rally about a buck a barrel so far from a very oversold condition. But those two strong down days, you got to pay attention to that. So watch it. That's going to be a very very interesting thing. Another question: Do I think that the bottom is in in the stock market? I'm not sure, but I know that was the area where you wanted to be if you were short the market. You know, we've been talking about that 27.30 level for well over two weeks now. And, uh, you know, so that's the, you know, that's the main thing. Now, if you looked at the ABCD structure, you know, you, uh, you know, that the uh, AB leg equals to the CD leg, and that's on the fifth. And that's the, you know, that's very interesting to near where the Bradley date is. We could go down there and test that one more time. The key, to, from my opinion, technically, is if it closes below 2,700. That's going to be the real key because that tells you that this is not a bounce. Remember, we saw that happen in crude oil. It had a nice little 382 bounce and then lasted two days and then bada bing, bada boom, uh, that's it. 
Uh, now we're saying China is warning students going to school in the USA. Hmm. Wonder why. It only costs them about an arm and a leg to go there, but who knows? We'll see. I don't know what's happening with that trade tariff, folks. And I don't think anybody else does either. But just trade what you see and not what you think. That will, that's what usually gets me in trouble is when I think too much and when I tie myself up into uh, uh, the emotionalism of a trade. And uh, that's really difficult to do. I did that with the gold, and I not very happy about that because it worked out okay because if you're in the gold put your stop at break even and forget it you know, don't even don't even look at it anymore that's what i would be watching so pay a little bit of attention to it let me just show you why we're such a critical level here uh, in the soybeans here folks this is the november new crop beans uh, you'll see the big abcd pattern came just perfectly down to that uh, uh, 820 uh, 820 level. We rallied up to 920. It's a $5,000 move. That's a 61% retracement. But you see the black line that's there, folks? That's equal to the black line during uh, July to December. The same, it's the same rally. They, they rallied the same amount. This one only took two weeks. The other one took four months. That's what the difference is because we get above 920 in November beans. You know, beans used to got to 18 bucks. And uh, the one thing we know that uh, that uh, oil is indigestible, folks. Everybody has to eat, so they're going to want food no matter what. And that's where a lot of wars happen is when these famines happen. We haven't had a bad crop for five years. We're saying this would probably be the year, and it looks like it's starting out that way. So, sort of, you know, keep it, uh, pay a little bit of attention with it. Regarding the hogs. I still think, like Rich just mentioned, the hogs have some pretty good uh, uh, ability here to rally. So keep an eye on those hogs. Another four or five cents lower, they're going to be at major support. But uh, you know, I'm not trading hogs. I'm involved in, you know, a few other markets. But uh, that's it. The the uh, dollar index has held that uh, definite resistance up there at that 92 level. That's equivalent to 111.10 in the euro. We've rallied over 100 pips now off of that bottom. We weren't surprised about that. You know, we talked about that, you know, quite a bit here because of the importance of that dollar index. So I hope you're able to at least protect yourself a little bit uh, along this, uh, along these eyes here. So let's just keep an eye on that as we look at uh, some of these other. Oh, we've got a question from someone and we'll bring it right up here. Just one second. It is about the natural gas and natural gas has no gas, folks. It's really breaking down now. Hold on a second here. We've got a question here from Mr. Z. And Mr. Z is saying, as you see, at what price does silver need to clear to, to, to get it higher? All we did, uh, Mr. Z, is make a nice, nice ABCD there. I believe you got to get about 5 bucks an ounce. Oh, Larry, $15 an ounce in the silver. Then I think you've got a chance. If we can clear the gold above 1340 uh, it started out nicely. That'd be good. But the troubling part is, you know, even though platinum is re you know, related to some of these electric cars or not, I don't know. But, you know, platinum should be moving, you know, in context, but it's not. So that's been a that's been a little bit of a of a problem. So, uh, you know, we'll have to uh, you know look at it. But I, I think the key is. Uh, is silver can get above four, fifteen dollars an ounce. That means you've got it. Remember, we've always said if you can buy silver around fifteen bucks in these little coins and uh, uh, silver dollars and stuff, I think that's good to have because you don't want anything happen to, you know, what happened in you know Venezuela and stuff like that. I mean, give me a break. Ten thousand uh, percent, you know, uh, inflation. Get out of here. So, oh, we, we did get a eight dollar move uh, today in the platinum. That's good. Well, at least it's up. Was it trading above eight eight oh five yet, Terry? I haven't got the price on it, so we'll watch that. The sugar is acting really good. I posted the chart for the coffee. Kudos to Ruby in here for alerting that. Yeah, see, it hasn't even got above eight oh five in a platinum. You know, it's 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 a dead cat bounce. But, um, you know, Ruby has talked to us about the coffee, had a nice move there. Sugar's acting pretty nice. But the natural gas doesn't have any friends. We're down around 242 now, folks. The next level is a 78% level down around uh, 215. That's a long way down in natural gas. So maybe that has an effect on energy. I don't know. But uh, we got a lot of things happening. This will be really interesting now, but this week that we have, because this is, should be the week where we bottom. In stock. So far, we've had a, a 30 handle rally uh, off the bottom. 
which isn't very much. You're going to have to rally a lot more than that to get the bulls interested again. But there's that possibility because we're over this, uh, this new moon today. 877-927-6648. Uh. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we had a question uh, about the crude oil that I just mentioned. Folks, the crude oil has a really strong support down at that 61% level, which is about $2 a barrel from where we are right now. We're trading at 53.80. I posted it in the room there. It's also in the newsletter, the future section, that uh, that 51.80 level is a 61% retracement. We had a chance for it to hold uh, over the weekend, but it did not, and that was mainly due to the heating oil gave up the ghost, and that was setting right at the number, and it, it went crashing through it. So that's a, a major thing to uh, – uh, to pay attention to. Regarding volatility, folks, we're going to see big increases in volatility everywhere. I mean, all commodities, foreign exchange, uh, it's due to all these cycles that are coming, in my opinion. The, the index for the VIX has not moved very much, but it's getting there, so pay very, very close attention to it. That's, uh, that's a key thing to uh, to really sort of pay uh, very, very close attention to. Now, this morning we had a rally that uh, 
all it did was retrace a little bit more than 60% of the rally that we made on Friday, and we've already broken uh, uh, 15 handles uh, from that level. So if we can close above the 2770 today, that'll tell us that uh, we're most probably in that bottoming area. But remember, the bottoming area starts today from the third all the way out to the sixth. So there's four days, and you've got all these indices that are still looking relatively weak, and you need to pay uh, relatively close attention to that. That's uh, I think something that uh, needs to be uh, addressed, so sort of keep an eye on it. That's what we're watching anyway. So, uh, by the way, remember Friday, Shane Smolian on the air for the whole hour. Going to be some really great stuff, of course. So uh, be sure you live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And if you have any questions, call in to TFNN. It's 877 Nine two seven six six four eight. They got a lot of good contributors here, and they'll give you some great info. So we'll see you on the flip side, folks. Mm -hmm.